Oh yeah, I forgot. I needed help with that assignment. I think it's due pretty soon. I think I'll email, yeah. Email. Email will work. I'll email Mr. McCune right now. Let's see. Open up Google Chrome. Get myself into Gmail. And how should I go about this? Okay, Mr. McCune. Got it. Should I put a subject line? No, no. He'll, he'll get it. He doesn't need a subject line. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh... How about, dear Mr. McCune? That's a good start. I am having trouble. Yeah, that's good. Correctly differentiating big time word. Genotype versus phenotype. Uh, well, I guess, I guess that helps, but I think I got something better. I don't think that's gonna work great. Let's try something else. Um, how do I really convey this message best? I think I don't get it. Yeah, he'll know what that means. Send that off, boom, we are done, looking good. I am certainly gonna get what I need from that. Time to hit the bed. And it's only 4.45, that's perfect timing. All right, so we're looking at sulfur dioxide. We know it has 18 valence electrons in the entire molecule. Can anyone tell me what the central atom of this molecule will be? Yeah, Jeff? Um, I think, I think you're muted. I think you're muted, Jeff. It's gonna be sulfur. Yeah, sulfur's gonna be the central atom because that's the one with the least amount of, uh, oh, what's it called? Subscripts. It's the least amount of subscripts. Bonds. So we have oxygen on the outside. And now we gotta distribute our electrons. What's the first step that we tend to do? Sarah! Um, What's all this mess I'm out here? Sarah, I'm trying to mow the lawn. You got paper. A garbage from last week. You got pajamas from yesterday. What is all this stuff that you just have all over your room? <sighs> Clean it up before supper. Sarah, honey, mute, mute yourself, okay? Or you know, go, go handle whatever you gotta handle. You can send me an email, we'll figure this out later, okay? Chemistry is a, a, a little bit less important than that. Okay, fine. All right, so we're gonna try and pick up. Yeah, exactly, so we're gonna put a single bond between all the pairs right now using four of our total 18 electrons. All right, that's the end of today's lecture. Go have a great week. Thursday. Uh, what time is the NFL draft tonight? Stuart, it's Saturday. What? All right, so as you can see, as slope increases, so does velocity. And there's an inverse relationship between velocity and area when we're talking about discharge in a freshwater stream. That's why we can see the widening of the stream as it gets closer to the large basin delta. Well, I guess that's it for today. So. We're all done here. You guys can log off Zoom. Oh, Mr. McCune. Oh, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Are we still supposed to turn in ES20 tonight? Oh, absolutely. Yes, if you guys could please turn in ES20. Make sure it's in the Dropbox tonight by 11.59. That way you can all get credit for that. All right, that's it. See you later. Fine, fine. I'll check my schoolwork. I'll check. Science upcoming. Um, due Friday, 11.15. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Friday is literally next year. <laughs> okay, that's good. All done, all done, Mom. What a week, man. 10 Warzone Vicroys with the boys? Time for some bed. Shoot. <laughs>